We have with us Attorney General Mukul Rahadgi to talk more about the, on the triple talaq issue. Sir, today you said that it's not a question of my, minority versus majority. You said it's clearly a question about the disempowered women and who've been left on the roads by these men by giving instant triple talaq. See, it is very important to know the perspective. Now, the perspective was this, that normally under the Constitution, minority rights are protected because the fear is that the majority will swamp the minority and the minority will lose its culture, will lose its existence and will kind of get mixed up with the majority. So that's in the context of majority and minority communities in India. But here we are not talking about majority versus minority. Mm. We are talking about citizens belonging to one community, the minority community, namely the Muslim community. It consists of men and women. Hmm. So the discord is between this minority community as a whole. Hmm. The women wanting empowerment and, and wanting same fundamental rights as men. Hmm. They don't want <coughs> hegemony of the male folk, hmm. which has been going on for years. They fear that they will be kicked out hmm. by you know, somebody chanting a triple talaq or sending a WhatsApp and then the woman is out on the road. Mm. She has no way to go. So she wants equality, gender equality, right to live with dignity. Mm. These are parts of our constitution. Okay. Our constitution is a secular constitution. Mm. So this is a disparity between men and women of one community. It is also a disparity of women of the Muslim community vis-a-vis mm. -vis women of the Hindu community. A woman of the Hindu community, if married, mm. cannot be thrown out in the same fashion mm. as these women have suffered. That's also so why you question that this is also a question about constitutional morality and equity. See, constitution uses the concept of secularism. Mm. Secularism means equality. Mm. Secularism means that the state has no religion. Mm. It treats every citizen equally. Mm. That is a right which everybody has to be enforced. No caste, color, or creed, or religion, or gender mm. can come in the way of people being treated. So I said that this is a case of three types of discrimination between men and women of the Muslim community, mm. between women of Muslim community and women of other communities like Hindu community, mm. where rules of divorce, etc., are codified. You have to go to a court. Only a court will examine it cannot be an instant of five seconds mm. that somebody's life comes crashing down and you're out on the road. Mm. And the empowerment obviously is not there in the Muslim uh, women community because from the time they are born, mm. there is an instilled, you know, it's instilled in them that you, unless they toe the line of the husband, mm. keep quiet, be obedient, tomorrow they can be chucked out even in anger. Mm. They may have done nothing wrong. Mm. So this is about, uh, this, this whole dispute is about this. Mm. So there is no gain saying that it's gone on for a thousand years. That's okay, what okay. Mr. Sibal said, 1400 years. But the point is, the, the, the Hindu community has lived with the religion for more than 5000 years. Hmm. And we have had equal number of evils, if not more, hmm. from sati to infant, infanticide, to no divorce, to a, a widow not getting married. Hmm. But there have been reforms. One has moved on. In the case of Muslims, there is you know, for women there is a law that they can seek divorce under the 1939 Act. Grounds are specified. But for men, no grounds are specified. You just feel like it, so you say, yes, 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 also, and you're sir, done. In, in one of your arguments when I was there inside Supreme Court, you also said that uh, if the Supreme Court quashes triple talaq in all three forms, the center could then consider to bring See, in a law. Tell us we, more about that. We, 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 we made it very clear mm. that there are three forms of talaq. The court is only considering one form, mm. which is commonly called triple talaq mm. or instant talaq, mm. because that talaq takes place in three seconds mm. by oral utterance or by WhatsApp or by telephone, or right? By courier, or by courier, whatever you may say. Mm. The other two talaqs are equally arbitrary and authoritarian. Mm. They can also be without reason, mm. but they are staggered in the sense they have to be done three times over, say, three months. Okay. So there's a chance of reconciliation in those cases okay. and introspection while there's, there's no chance here. So if you say it in anger mm. and you are done and then if you feel that you made a mistake, mm. 
then the wife, the widow, not not widow, the wife has to then get married again to somebody else, mm. consummate the marriage, mm. and after that have a divorce, mm. and then come back. Mm. It's completely cumbersome, and even that is not uh, a correct uh, mm. procedure, and it's called nika halala. Mm. But the court said that they are not going into mm. the other two types of divorce. Yeah. Though I made it clear that our arguments are on the three types of divorce, polygamy and nikah halala, hmm. all these practices. To which the Supreme Court did say that they will consider but not in this bench. Yes. So I said all of them suffer from the same problems. Hmm. But the court said we are considering only triple talaq because that's really what is before the court. So I made it clear hmm. that for the others, you keep it separate. Hmm. But if you were to strike down all three, hmm. The government will not leave a vacuum hmm. because there has to be some mode of divorce available. Hmm. And in that event, we will bring a law as soon as possible. All right. So idea is that. Thank, Thank you. you so much for Bye. speaking to us. Bye. That was Attorney General Mukul Rahadgi telling us what the center will do and what are the possibilities if Triple Talaq is quashed in complete totality. This is Jessica Taneja with video journalist Shekhar for Vion in New Delhi.